Hello students, welcome to the physics classroom. Today we are going to discuss about law of universal gravitation. In order to understand your law of universal gravitation, first of all we have to know gravitational force. And then we discuss about Newton's law of gravitation, mass of earth, difference between mass and weight. What is gravitational force? Gravitational force is a force of attraction between masses in this universe. Anything near the star or planet attracted to it very strongly. On planet Earth, this force known as weight. Now, what is law of universal gravitation? According to to the law of universal gravitation every body in the universe attracts everybody with a force which is directly proportional to the to the product of the masses and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. Now, let us consider Now, let us consider M1 and M2 Two masses and R is the distance between there centers then according to the 
gravitational law let us consider m1 m2 let's make them a little bit bigger m1 m2 center center distance r and according to the law force F is directly proportional to the product of their masses and is the, the force and is the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between their centers. Combining, this is equation one, this one is equation two. Equation one and equation two. What we get? F is proportional to M1, M2. This is the product divided by the square of the distance between their centers. Or we can say that F is equal to G M1 m2 upon r square where universal gravitational constant okay now we know that gravitation force f is equal to g m1 m2 upon r square where g is the constant of universal gravitational force so from the equation g m1 m2 upon r square if we cross multiply then we can find f r square is equal to g m1 m2 or g is equal to f r square upon m1 m2 f is the force of gravitation r is the distance between the bodies force is always having a unit Newton R is also having a unit of meters mass is kilogram mass is kilogram so we can say that G is equal to Newton 
meter square divided by kilogram square. The experimental value of G is equal to 6.673 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 Newton meter square upon kilogram square. Now our next topic is mass of earth. Okay, let's find out the mass of earth. In order to calculate the mass of earth, consider The body M E. This is our let's suppose this is our surface and a body of mass M on the surface of the earth. The distance between those the, the, these two bodies M E and M is nothing but the radius of the earth because me is nothing but a very massive body of our planet earth and this is a very very tiny body on the surface of the earth the mass of this body on the surface of the earth is m radius of earth is the distance between this the center of this body and the center of the earth and me is the mass of earth then according to the universal gravitational force f is equal to g is universal gravitational constant me mass of the earth lower letter m is the mass of the body on the surface of the earth or uh, e is the distance between these two bodies square we know that the body on the surface of the earth having a force feeling towards the center of the earth that force is known as way of that body so this force is nothing but the weight of that body feeling on the surface of the earth is equal to g m e m upon r e squared Let me write down the constant values which we already know. For instance, R E radius of the earth. We already know the radius of the earth is 6.4 into 10 raised to the power 6 meters. And we just calculated the universal gravitational constant 6.673 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 Newton meter square upon kilogram square. And we know the gravitational constant on the surface of the earth is 9.8. 8 meter per second square. But the law we know that the weight of a body on the surface of the earth is equal to mg. So we replace this w 
with mg w was equal to g m m e m upon r e square so it means mg is equal to g m e m upon r e square this mass from both sides we can cancel it so small g is equal to capital G m e upon r e square or by cross multiplication we can find that m e is equal to r e square into g upon capital G by replacing the values of given values m e is equal to r e square means 6.4 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 whole square multiplied by g g is 9.8 divided by capital G capital G is 6.673 into 10 raised to the power minus 11 so m e is equal to you can calculate them and work out on a separate sheet we will get the mass of earth 6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 24 kg